Welcome everybody. Tonight we're going to talk about the four main issues in waiting on rules. Okay, these are ones that we covered in class, but um, I thought it might be a good idea just to just put a quick refresher up, a little audio, a little visual. It might help some people out. So what I've done is I've collected some diagrams. This is the first rule. This is the first one we covered. This is force on a positive moving charge particle. Okay, and what I've done here is I have, I have two diagrams. I have the right hand rule itself and then uh, a picture illustrating what happens to that particle. So remember, this is only for a positive particle. The velocity of the particle is, is shown by the right thumb, okay, the direction. The extended hands show the magnetic field that the particle is traveling in. And if you do that, then your, your fingers will curl 90 degrees and show your, your force on your charge, on your positive charge particle. I want to stress that because a lot of times they'll try and trap you and say, oh, an electron moves through a, a magnetic field. Remember, if an electron moves through, the force actually goes the other way. It goes, well, it would be like a left-hand rule, I guess, but let's not go there. Let's just do the right-hand rule for the positive charge. And then if it says electron, after you do the right-hand rule, make the force the other way, okay? And as you can see on this diagram on the right, here's what you have. You have a, a positive particle, and they've shown it at three different points. You see how the velocity is, is tangent to a circle? That's because with this force, it, it produces what's called a centripetal force. And the force always acts perpendicular to both the velocity and the magnetic field. So up here, at this one right here that I'm showing you, the velocity is going up and left a little bit. And the field is going into the page. So again, with your right hand rule, just try it on the screen right now. You, you put it in, and you can see how it'll turn towards the center of the circle. Go ahead and give it a shot, all right? And as you can see, it, it does that for all three points. And so that positive particle is always pushed towards the center of the circle. If you've taken chemistry, this is the, the physics behind mass spectrometers. Um, in SL chemistry and HL chemistry, they talk about mass spectrometers. This is what bends those particles, those ions around. It's also involved in um, the aurora borealis, the, the northern lights. You have high energy charged particles moving through the magnetic field at the poles of the Earth, and it causes those particles to change direction, and, and you get some crazy colors happening. Okay, so moving on to the second right-hand rule that we discussed. This is magnetic field around a current carrier. I've shown two diagrams here. This one on the left, as you can see, I, I put pick this one because it shows the right-hand rule and, and how the circular magnetic fields are produced. But I wanted to stress that it's it's a con it's not a coil. It doesn't work its way up the wire. They're flat disks, okay, and those flat disks are layered as you go up. And, and I think the diagram on the left shows that. The diagram on the right shows the rule itself. Okay, remember the right-hand rule for for magnetic field from a current carrying wire, you have the um, your right thumb points in the direction of the current, and then your fingers curl in the direction of the field. So you actually get circular magnetic field patterns forming around a wire. Okay, moving on to the third. This was force magnetic force on a current carrying wire, and this remember we talked about today. This was this is the same physics as the first particle. Remember, the first one says um, force on a positive charge, right? And we showed how the force on a positive charge moving through a magnetic field is perpendicular. Well, the physics is the same here. And in this case, if you recall in class, we had that very awkward conversation about old white men, and we said how electric current is defined as the flow of positive moving electric charge, even though the actual moving charges are negative, we can't seem to get that fixed because people just get stuck in it. All right, so what I like this diagram on the left because this diagram actually shows six positive moving charges moving through a wire. And if you have more than one positive charge, you have a current, all right? And so you can see the magnetic force comes from the direction of flow of those positive charges or the direction of flow of the current, okay? The magnetic field, which in this case is going into the page, and that causes a magnetic force that goes up, okay? 
the right hand rule I've put in a diagram on the right hand side you show you have a current that goes from um, the bottom of the hand up through the thumb okay this positive and negative remember it's the flow of positive charges so positive charges are going to flow from the positive end down here up towards the negative end up here all right if you put that current in a magnetic field with your outstretched hand the force curls up it's it's the exact same rule as the single charge it's just now there's a whole bunch of charges there's a current all right and our last one tonight it's magnetic field of a loop or solenoid and i think this one really kind of confused some people maybe because it was the end of lesson people getting tired or maybe it's a tougher one i don't know what i've done is i've i've taken this diagram on the left this is just a single wire like what we had in class and if you're okay with the concept of this of the of the ringed um or sorry of the circular magnetic fields what i'm going to do is i just have this straight wire and i've taken it and i've made it into a circle and then taken it back all right so the same physics is the second one again as I go along, I take my current and it goes just like this. And you can see here we have a right thumb pointing in the direction of the current. And inside this circle, inside this, this loop, my fingers, or well, the person's fingers are pointing up. Okay? As the current carries around, now the current's going sort of up and to the left. And the fingers are still pointing up. And now the current flows further along to the left. And once again, the fingers are still pointing up like that. So what this should show you, hopefully, is that the magnetic field inside a loop, inside a circular wire, is, is all the same direction. All inside the circle, they all have the same direction of magnetic field. And you can see that here with these magnetic field lines in the middle. Here's my wire, and it goes like this, okay, and around. And you can see the magnetic field going up and going through. This looks just like a bar magnet. Essentially, that's what it is. This is how electromagnets work. Is you take a bunch of wires and you wrap them around and, and you get an extremely powerful uh, linear magnet. Okay? This diagram on the right, this is the solenoid, and this is the rule that we talked about. And you see what the solenoid consists of is just a whole bunch of loops. And they just, it comes in and it goes around and goes around and goes around and goes around and it just just keeps doing that. Okay. How the last right hand rule works, remember you take your, your right fingers and you curl them in the direction of the current flow, just like this picture has here. You see the right fingers are curling around and the right fingers actually match up really nicely with the direction of flow of the current with these arrow sticks. And if you do that, your right thumb points in the direction of the field. Now remember, the uh, the Dennis rule, right? Dennis is going to Canada next year, and so we t we said that Dennis, and just like the magnetic field lines, he'll go to Canada, he'll be pulled, the arrows point out of the north and into the south. Okay, so if you ever forget, think of Dennis in Canada next year. Dennis is going to be freezing. He's going to want to go out of the north and into the south, just like the magnetic field lines. Hope that helps. Um, don't hesitate to come in, ask some questions. I, I've already had a couple emails about homework. Bring it in and, um, and let's get this ready for this test on Tuesday. Have a good night and we'll see you soon.